step, step, step in razor, the art of war. The government who claims that them have everything under control with certain things, them do have nothing under control, nothing, nothing them not have under control. You understand? This government has nothing under control. And there is no opposition party to say anything to oppose them. I don't see the opposition party again. Because the opposition party is busy trying to figure out if they want a white man to lead them or not. I don't understand these things. I maybe understand it, but I don't want to believe, say, is that is really happening. No. I mean, every day, Rasta, every day. It's like the gunman they might try rival the COVID. Yes, the gunman them really are try rival the COVID. And they say, all right, COVID killed 300 odd people since it started in a one year. The gunman them killed over a thousand since last year, January till, till December. Over a thousand, thousand enough. The COVID since March. Till now, killed 300 and odd people. That is four times. It's about five, five trees. Fifteen. That is about five times the amount where the gunman them kill. Four times the amount the gunman killed last year. The COVID killed 300 and odd. I will not say only because 300 and odd is enough. It's more than in all of the Caribbean island them. The COVID in Jamaica is the worst COVID statistics in the Caribbean. And we keep saying it. We look at 80 with 10 million people. 10 million. No people are, people are insinuating, say, why them not just farm? Hey, remember, say, Barbie is one of the most British island. <laughs> Can you imagine that? When people talk about Britain in, Amer in, a, in a the Americas, them used to say Barbados. Barbados is the most British of all the Caribbeans. Now people are saying, maybe they should have made the lady, the president of um, Barbados, give these people some pointers. Pointers. And I must tell the Prime Minister that Mr. Trump is no longer the, pri the President of America. Mr. Trump is no longer the President of America. So he can stop being the baby Trump, as we see it's take place, and just pull up him clerks as a bro guard and just get on the ball and do what he's supposed to do. And if he can't do it, he know what to do. We cannot have the thing going like this. Cannot. Them know how to farm against the COVID. When them put say, all right, now we are put back the thing at 8 o'clock. Them know how to manipulate and make the thing work. That's all. But them don't know how to deal with the criminal activities that is more important right now than for to tell people about them must, them must find on the road at 8 o'clock when you have them in the whole bright daylight. Bright daylight, downtown, crowd like worries in the day. And in the night, you tell them what's going They're not going anywhere. Anyway, we're coming forward. Serious things, serious music for serious times. This is the Stepping Razor. We're talking about the crime mixed with the COVID. These two things right now is a scourge in the Jamaican society. And whilst the man them can tell you, say, wear a mask, keep social distance and wash your hand, and it will help to, to really suppress the COVID thing. What are they doing to get some of those 200 guns per month that is coming into the island? Because we see now Coke. Cocaine is on the rise again. 
the trafficking of coke is on the rise again. And you can't hardly get ganja in a Jamaica, the land of the good ganja. $20,000 a pound for ganja in a Jamaica. That is not, that is not acceptable. Even to me who don't smoke ganja, I trade in it. But it is unacceptable. You understand? And we don't understand why is it that we can't get no ganja. And the people them who have them smoke shop, by the gram, they must sell it. Gram. You know what is a gram? <laughs> <laughs> they must sell it by the gram, you know. And it's, I mean, it's more than a thousand dollar gram. Mm -hmm. How much gram make a, how much gram make a pound? 16, 16 gram make a ounce. 16, yes. No, 16 ounce make, make a pound. 16 ounce make a pound, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, it's more than a thousand dollar, I'm saying it's you know. Mm -hmm. But make up put it at a thousand dollar, a gram. And 16 gram is sixteen thousand dollar. You know, rich owns it. <laughs> you know, rich owns it. You know, sixteen gram is sixteen thousand dollar. And we're not talking about a pound. Let me say, when them when them sells when them sell a gram in a Rasta, it's like it's, it's not it's not one hundred percent. Cut them now buy to twenty thousand. You know. Them not buying it for 20000 Them go to the farmer and buy it. Sometimes for liquor and nothing. But I tell you, no ganja planted in a Westmoreland and which part of the in a center, you know. Don't make the man them come, they come and take all the ganja for just a little bit of money. Like say, them are doing a favor. Ganja no tomato. Ganja no tomato. Ganja is a precious commodity all over the world. We are more, more and more places in America. In America, Kamala, what's your name? Kamala Harris, the, 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 the vice president. So what I'm fighting is to make sure so the ganja free in America or what I'm calling it, decriminalize it. Not a criminal offense. Like in, in, in um, upstate, there, what them call Portland, them now decriminalize hard drugs. When we say decriminalize, it means uh, if them catch you with it, it's not a criminal. Not about like crack cocaine and heroin and all these things where we know you, well, I shouldn't say we don't use it. Because we have a thing named now, named Mali. Mali. Remember to hear this, this, this. Name, Pandu Stepping Razor, so it's named Mali. Mali is a drugs amongst the youth them in a Jamaica right now. Right now. Mali. Remember that name? I don't even know if the Minister of Health hear about that yet, because they is the last one to hear things. So we have to know, say, this Mali drug is a dangerous drug amongst the youth them. Dangerous. And now, a long time we never hear nothing about cocaine. And now we say two mil, two billion dollar cocaine and all, all over there. So, them are fine cocaine there. So, all sorts of cocaine, cocaine things are going on. Why is this happening? Yes, the good old ganja have to take back burner, you know. The good old ganja have to take back burner. What a terrible thing. What is the government doing? They can tell you what to do with the COVID, the mask, and all these things. But the thing that is killing more people in Jamaica is the gunman. They might kill more people than the COVID. So, people, we understand the mask thing, and we understand the thing, you know, but guess what? We have to alleviate the murder rate. I alone at all, but no, no, no government can be governed. No country cannot be governed without a proper institution that look about the welfare of the people. And the welfare of the people is not being looked after because 
Crime is not a welfare of the people. Crime is something that is, is like a disease. It's a virus. Crime is a virus. Anyway, uh, we still depend on the crime thing and the COVID thing, you know. Still depend on the crime and the COVID. We want to know, really, this COVID thing and this vaccine where them say, I think it's in there, them and say, them I get it from. And I see most people, well, not most people still, but I only pay people where I know I talk about the, the Cuban vaccine, but we're not hearing very much from Cuba with that vaccine because I hear them say they're going to test it now upon human beings. They move from the animal testing now to the human testing. But we don't hear nothing more about it again. I want them just keep it for themselves and I vaccinate everyone. But the, 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 the one we're really interested in is Ms. Mackley. Again, I say, I hope people are say. Why is it that this government don't take some some coaching from Miss Matley, the pres the Prime Minister of Barbados? All right, here we are going now. She get some gift from India. The vaccine was made in India, and them apparently them give them give Barbados a gift. But I wanna how she come to getting gift from India. And we know can't get gift from nowhere. Because no matter what how much money they must spend for the vaccine, the, the, the Pfizer vaccine and them things, which most Jamaicans are skeptical about this Pfizer vaccine. We know that the Indian them 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 have about a billion people in a them country where them say they go vaccine a billion people. And I can't tell me a year, which is not years still. Them have 500, uh, 500,000 doses of this Indian vaccine that is going to be made available in the Caribbean. And they mention the countries them that are going to benefit from it. They mention the countries them in the... And I never hear Jamaica get mentioned. This is not an American vaccine. This is the Indian them. We, we, we come up with this vaccine. I, I don't remember the name of the vaccine. Shame, you can't look for it from there. Find, remember, just the name of the vaccine where the Indian them come up with. Can somebody tell me, politically, how is it that the Caribbean is offered 500,000 of the vaccine from India and them call out the name of the country them? That is going to benefit Trinidad and Tobago. I think them say Guyana, Barbados, obviously. Because I, think, I, I don't know why if he says she initiate that move. She, the Prime Minister of Barbados, initiate that move for the vaccine to spread in the Caribbean. But I don't hear them mention Jamaica. So maybe I didn't miss the part when them say Jamaica. But really and truly, that is really strange because we say, and I keep, I'm going to keep reminding the Prime Minister that Mr. Trump, Donald Trump, is not, and I repeat, is not the President of America. <laughs> you know, you know the say, you are not, Kobe, the, 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 when them take the, the lie detector, yeah, where the man said, my, my, where on the TV, him said, you are not the father mm -hmm. of the child. Well, I want to tell the Prime Minister, say, you are not the child of Donald Trump. He's not the president of America again. All right. So the, 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 the Indian vaccine name, Covaxin. And Covishield. And Covishield, yes, yes. Covaxin, as so much vaccine they have over there. Mm. Wow. Two vaccines the Indian they make. Are some serious doctor them that see you know. Yeah, them them really know the, the Cuban them and the Indian them always see America go on, can't step in for them shoes that it come to health and and how um nursing and caring supposed to go as it relates to sick and them something there. Anyway, so we are here about two vaccines from India and 
those two vaccines going to reach long here, so I think one of them going to reach at Jamaica, but the, the deal where they make, the American, the, not America, I mix up Jamaica, we interplay America with Jamaica nowadays. It's a serious thing that when you start that, you know, when you start to talk about Jamaica and say America, you understand? All right, so we want to know where I go on this, so. we really want to know where I go on this, so. with all these vaccines with the world. We want to we talk about this drug where they are on the road named Mali. And uh, although uh, people don't take it, well, most people don't know about it still. But them youth are take it. Yes, them youth are take it. Seriously, I take it. So we have to, as we are saying, we have to watch out to that. But the minister of, what them call him now, fitness, wellness. The brother, they love run up and <laughs> Every time you see you have a jog. I mean, I'm fighting a jag, you know. That we can't be that like jag still, but... Bridget, you jag too much, man. We see, man, in New York around the, the 20 mile Matara... Um, mat, what do you call it again? Marata. Marata, we have to Matara. <laughs> the, the Marata, you know. And we have to say, if I try to keep fit, but you know, you can't eat fit, you can't keep fit, and then you have certain things, you know. May I tell you that, you know. You can't eat, keep fit, and then you have certain things. All right now, if it stops me, I'm certain things. Yeah, we know. You know what me I talk about. You understand? It's it, it kind of contradictory. You understand? All right. So, him is talking about. You remember when the prime minister used to come on the radio every evening and I tell you about what happened to COVID and what happened to COVID and COVID, COVID, COVID. All right. You need something like that in terms of the crime. The crime. Because you can't just have shooting all over the place, all over the place. So, and every day you get up here, one woman get shot, there, so one picnic get shot, there, so, and all them something there. And you now hear the Prime Minister, at least it, it have to be like the one them will get killed on the road the other day, about three weeks ago. And then you hear somebody come out and say, Right, it, look what them to do here. What a terrible thing. And then now that lie down and then you hear something else. But you want to know, the killing don't go down because it don't look as gruesome as the one where the Prime Minister talked about. You understand? And the gun, them, look prettier now. But I see some gun. <laughs> no, I tell you. I see some gun. Well, when we look on them gun, them, I say, oh, where the man them get them gun they from? Where the man them get them gun they from? How oh, them gun they reach in the hands of the youth them on the street? That police free now. Police free now. If them youth they decide say why them all come together and try a thing. This like a soldier and police is a joke business. It's a joke business. Because pure all gun like army have you know, pure all gun. Them are buy all gun for give the people them. Them youth you have gun where it look like it just come out from out uh, which part to ever it make. And them no ram for use it. They must fire the shot them after the police, like wow. And they now run. Them now back run. They make police a drive up fast, fast. A run. Oh, 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 it's gonna work. Oh, it's gonna work. You know, people that talk about, I told you, them now have no job. Them you channel no business, but no you do no job. Job where? Where you talk about? Unemployment. Unemployment what? The gun them pretty and expensive. And them know that too, because them know the 200 guns are coming out of the place every month. And 200 guns, all them do is make statements on the radio now, make it sound like, yes, don't worry, be happy. No, we're not happy. We don't happy. Last week we mentioned how oh, a woman I drive and realize your car punch her because when she park her car, then watch her and punch her car. And when she drive, go up the road, she see the two bike man in my follower. And she turn in her road, turn in her yard where she knows security there. And a pure gunshot start fire. And the two bike man them fire two shot and get away. And the woman car get punched her. Give thanks, says Uncle like car get punched her. But the man them get brazen. Because you see, if a man in a Jamaica want to kill you, I'm going to kill you. I mean, that sounds harsh. 
But is that the reality of Jamaican situation now? If a man say, you see, you, I will get rid of you, you know, boy. Watch out. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. No, we hear say, war broke out in a, don't a Tivoli, don't a, don't a, don't a, King, a, 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 a Kingston there. That people freed. Why I broke out because a man said, how much gun missing? 40 had gun must be missing. And them can't get it. I tell you. Whoa, I tell you. If I say 40 had gun missing, and them can't get out. Somebody have to pay for that. What me say? Shoes, brother. Shoes. The shoes, yes. And a clock, too. <laughs> like when the Prime Minister, a Prime Minister show up, say, I have clock. I can tell you something. I can tell you something now. This is a serious thing. You see, the Prime Minister, him don't know where I go on the road. Now, some youth come now and clerks. No, first of all, we can talk about the Brogard thing. The Brogard thing is an underworld talk. When I say underworld talk, as I said before, some man in a man to be come up with this Brogard to facilitate gangsterism or some DJ will make it. And they move from dog to bro God. Because your you, you dog, uh, your you good friend, but your bro God now is the man who over you now and he might have certain money can spend at the community. And You understand? Now, the Prime Minister here, the youth, they might call him bro God. And him just accept it. Him just accept it. The Prime Minister, look how much you can make shoes in a Jamaica and can't sell it. The Prime Minister couldn't put on a Jamaican shoes for him foot and hold it up. Make a body for people say, wait, a Jamaican, the Prime Minister get them shoes from? I'm trying to figure out which part him get them. Me don't know how me sound. Me don't know me sound. But me now go advertise to Jamaica say me have a clerk's boots. That's for the man that were in a certain little thinking and thing like, Pull your shirt and all them, pull shirt and all them something there. But the Prime Minister, who's supposed to be a protect certain industry, a advertise Clark's booty and a, and a make people a call them broker and them accept it. Before him say no, him not accept it. Yes, stepping razor. So, we I talk about the, the problems of how. Oh, the COVID and the and the gunman them are work out the thing and we not see the contribution of these politicians is is devastating. You know, so we I mention how the bro God and the clerk's booty become a issue, a national issue in a Jamaica because the Prime Minister flaunt it. And you ask it on national TV, the green Clarks, booty. I am told that one of those shoes cost about fifteen thousand dollars. And is England them shoes that come from for a long time, long long time. Diamond socks and Clarks booty. Man sing that from in the seventies. So the Clarks boot and then Vibes Cartel come popularize it again. And now the Prime Minister come popularize it too. I am wondering. If common sense and logic not show him could have advertised something local and make it become trendy. Trendy. Because that is where I go on now with the youth them. They like trend, things that is trending. You look on the WhatsApp and they all, the YouTube and you say this is trending. And a man, certain people are wearing certain clothes, you say this is trending. The Prime Minister put on certain things that is trending. And as a youth, Come here, call him a youth. Yes, as a youth, when him go around and I accept the bro god title, I wonder if him didn't know the bro god title, where it, where it come from, the idea of the bro god title. I don't know. But it's just some suggestions, may I say, it's just some suggestions, some observation with suggestions that the Prime Minister should have taken heed. Just like me, I talk about the Minister of Wellness, who is not a medical doctor. It's all that no bother me. 
why would we have a, a minister of wellness and thing and him is not a medical doctor? That, 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 that to me, I don't know what for the next one, but I think that the minister of health should all deal with health. I mean, on a professional level. But it's on a side thing because him, them shift him from Ransom to the next and put him over there. So. Just like how me think that the minister of agriculture should have known about agriculture. Him shouldn't just be in a position. You understand? So, just all right. One, one thing. The minister of culture, gender, whatsoever. She's a part of the music industry for years. For years. Babsy Grange. She has been a part of the music industry for years. You know, see it? So, when we look at that now, we say, we really need to pull up socks. Because the thing I get away out there. It I get away. No, I get it get away out there. Yes, really and truly. And we have to really deal with it. That was the opposition leader at the time talking. Well, not the opposition leader. Remember, it's the opposition leader. Not the opposition leader. That is the Prime Minister of Jamaica talking about if you vote for the next man. <laughs> It have been weeping and feeling and dashing of teeth. But guess what? How much years now them in power? How much years them in power? And there's no cap. There's no cap on violence in Jamaica. No cap. It continues. Oh, we're going on a South St. Elizabeth in another week. Yeah. And I see something so strange. And when I realized, I said, oh, that is why it's here, so I told him, look, a man, why is it that everybody in a South St. Elizabeth are planting pure tomato? I mean, tomato is, is like a glut of tomato. South feel come right down to near Treasure Beach there. Everybody are planting tomato. I don't know where I go on. Somebody to tell everybody to plant tomato. I will call them sister tomato sell for all eight hundred dollar a pound. Why everybody are planted? But if everybody plant it, the price must drop because there's a glut. Right now there's a glut in a Saint Elizabeth at tomato. A serious glut. And when you go in at the market and supermarket them, the seat are sell for all four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar a pound. For tomato. And it appeared to me that the only next thing we're missing near to tomato right now, cabbage. It looks like the farmer them I get kinda insecure about the farming thing cause no money no they pan it again. Cause even the ganja man I feel it, you know. We know we keep saying it, but it's true. If you can contact, I get in contact with one of those smoke houses in Jamaica and just I supply them continuously with, with ganja, you might have a chance to come out of the world deep well where most of the things them in are. And them have no coal storage. And them have no agro industry for really deal with it. I will keep saying it, we keep saying it, we need for divest our attention to agro-industry, the preservation of the food can be preserved through preserves. Yes. A whole heap of people want pickle now. A whole heap of people want all sorts of sauces. And I see, I see somebody start a thing. I want to interview with them too because it looked like a something so unique and so innovative where them roast the bread food and peel it and put it in a nice package it come like america <laughs> and i see it made in jamaica i see them and we a, a mill flour in a jamaica when i say flour i mean real it don't come i know say it don't come from out of the flour mill people just get the wheat and start to mill it maybe they might bring in the wheat too but i see that the food industry is not an industry because try to be an industry you have to have some 
a group of people who is into it for divest into what we call agro industry. Too much foreign coconut oil they pan the shelf them in Jamaica. Too much foreign water they pan the shelf them in Jamaica. Why the hell Jamaica import so much water from Trinidad? We have spent billions of dollars import things from Trinidad. We, they, for them, well, them sell we. It's dozens of times, dozens more them I get from we than we are get from them. The ratio of export to Trinidad from Jamaica is nothing compared to the import which Trinidad have bring to Jamaica. A thing like coconut oil. Why we have so much coconut tree and we're afraid to do the coconut oil? Because I remember I said them did them did put all kind of a no no on coconut oil one time, you know. But coconut oil is now the the choice of Hollywood stars to rub up them skin and rubbing at them ear and all these things. Coconut oil, simple as you take it. Something my granny used to do for a long time. Coconut oil. And coconut oil, the, the, the one that we, 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 we get from St. Mary and Portland. You remember sometime when, there was a time when you have fried things with coconut oil, you smell the coconut oil and it gives you this aroma that is so enticing. Now you have some, I mean I have fried against some coconut oil, you know, but you have some coconut oil that come from Trinidad right now where it don't have no smell. It's like them, them take out the, what them call it? Them take out the, this, them take, it's like them take out something out tight and it have the coconut oil smell. It's just plain, plain, just simply coconut oil. And we don't use it just simply, just coconut oil. So we use coconut oil. When well, you rub coconut oil by your skin, you're supposed to smell it. And it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad. But now we have coconut oil on shelf. Where... It no, it no, it no reach the standard of how we did that say coconut oil supposed to be. It no reach that standard there. It don't reach the standard of that. And we need to really figure it out. We can't just import, import, import things. So all when them no, in a, them in a problem like we. Yet still our market is not being without the, the full potential of our market. You have to think them rather over this song. Rather, I want to deal with. What are you dealing with? Why am I going to cold storage them for preserve certain food for future movement? Because right now the dry season soon come on. The dry season soon come on. And when the dry season come on, trust me, man, it's really funny because the dry season now is not the same dry season like what we usually know. Just like how the rainy season is not like the same rainy season where we used to know. Global this and global that take over the place. So I don't know if the government have anything in place to deal with all these things. Just like I know them do have not in place to deal with the water crisis that will take place. There is a water crisis coming up soon. I mean, could you know that. Water crisis that will come up soon. And we still know. Family had nothing to make water be, for not be, make water be a problem when there's no rain at all. Just like how we see enough to meet about the place and how. Enough, I mean enough. And I may tell you, me drive, drive, drive from Treasure Beach, come right out, open to, to Junction. And I tell you, say the amount of tomato farming when I see a go on, man. I never see so much tomato plant yet. I may observe it all the while. Usually people have all garden egg and cabbage and pop chow and all these things, pumpkin and 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 but one of the things is that them I said the, the, the hotel them nah take where them supposed to take already again. But that is not the point. The point is that our eating habits in Jamaica is so terrible. 
that now that we have the food, can eat. We still not eat it. And I will never forget that we're already a country. We go to market, no man them, them have them carrot, with them weep for so, in a Saturday, Saturday. They must sell carrot, Friday and Saturday, they must sell carrot. On Saturday evening, them take the money and go buy tin carrot juice. That is madness. Tin carrot juice, them go buy. And that's the same thing I go on here, so now. We are, do, we are, we are, we are do, after effect thing, after effect. You know, we call for, the, we call for the, the production of rice. I am not a rice lover, but the majority of Jamaican people eat rice. And you can plant the good rice because the good rice used to plant a Westmoreland. The good rice used to plant a Westmoreland. But no rice now plant in Jamaica again. We import all the rice from Guyana and from wherever it, it come from. Uncle Ben ancestors, must, I mean, uh, Uncle, you mean Uncle Ben ancestors. Uncle Ben family must feel good because Jamaica import all sorts of rice from all sorts of the places. And we can plant rice. Move the cane field them and plant rice. That is what we're supposed to do. All those cane man, as they say, we have plant cane and all them something there. Cane out of fashion, you know, sugar out of fashion. I better you just plant the cane and make cane juice with it. Because cane juice is supposed to be in fashion. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a thirst filler, cane juice. Me, I promote that. Cane juice with ginger and lime. Me, I tell you, not a Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola or any one of the cola them can match up to cane juice and ginger with lime. And all of that is Jamaican. Jamaican, them striped cane where them have bought the place. When I talk about cane where you make no for go make sugar with it. Because sugar, the reason why slavery exists so long is because the, 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 the need for sugar in white people in England. White people was addicted to sugar and rum. And that is what our ancestors came here to do. To help with the sugar and cane to give them rum and sugar. And now we see that sugar, after the knowledge what we get now, is not is a drug. Sugar is a drug. And some Jamaican people can't do it without sugar. And them don't know how juice tastes. Them know how the milk in the carrot juice tastes. And them know how the sugar in the juice other juices here, but them don't know how the juice itself tastes, how the fruit tastes. And that is a travesty in itself. Serious travesty. So we just have said, we need to come to grips with these things totally. Pull up! Get more chips with the JP St. Mary's Extra Crunchy Banana Chips. The time by JP St. Mary's Extra Crunchy Banana Chip is... Yeah, the time is one minute past four o'clock. We are talking about the food thing, Anna. Because it's very important. Very, very important. We are talking about rice. We are talking about the tomato. Then we are planting enough now. Blood of tomato on the market. We are talking about how we now do nothing for really preserve our agricultural industry by having what them call it coal houses. Yes, coal houses and also agro industry. We are talking about how we could have moved the cane field them and put rice in them. Yes, because most Jamaican eat rice every day. And we are talking about just plant rice neither. We are plant the right rice. Yes, the right rice. Remember them red rice? Where you see there a Westmoreland man. Where you used to travel from Kingston, go down there. And I carry the bagger a darn them in our country bus to come back at town with them. We have a bridge in them. And then when we come at town with them, we get flour bag, put the rice the darn in it and beat it and then just blow it out and get the rice. Because we know we say we don't want them polish the rice and sell it. We don't yam polish rice. And at that most Jamaican yam polish rice. We don't have no nutrients in it. It's white like white. Polish rice. And that is what they might import most of the time. Uptown people and people who really know about certain rice. 
we say them are one basmati rice and jasmine rice and all these things where most Jamaican people don't know about them rice there. You know, see, which is a better rice. But we can produce rice at a high level, at a high standard, because I worry about the things that when we produce, the coffee and the ganja and all them something is of high standard. So we can produce rice at high standard. If we want to produce all basmati rice, most Jamaicans don't know what me are talking about, but I can't help you right now. Go Google it. Most Jamaicans eat rice. I mean, I say, the government should be looking into it. I remember one time I did a talk to, um, where is my name again? <laughs> Montague, Bobby. Yeah, I did a talk to Bobby. I think he was the Minister of Culture at the time. Where I did a talk to him. And he gave me a talk about the rights. And he called the program. And he said, we are in, we are in the politician, the general to the Rasta. Bobby Montague called the stepping razor when he hear me talk about rice. And I give this long epistle about how the government is in line with rice and we soon say this and we soon say that. Bobby Montague is no more the minister to deal with that. What have, where's all those plans? What have we planned today? Meanwhile, we are import rice. We should not import rice. I tell you that, I emphasize it. Jamaica should not be importing rice, just like how we should not be importing water. It's a travesty. It's a shame and disgrace. Me come up, come here, say so Jamaica is a land of wood and water. And then when me go in at the supermarket, me see lined up on top of lines, up on top of lines of water. And when me turn around the back, me see it mark Trinidad. <laughs> so you have to be said, oh. Should that water boil sweeter than our world? That's a damn of that. No way, Ozzy. No more that they sign some little agreement with these people. And them can't relent upon the, the, the agreement. That is what them do. Sign some terrible agreement. If you take certain portion of this and certain portion of that. Meanwhile, we don't have nothing to send God give them. You know, see, Guyana are the same thing. We've signed an agreement with Guyana. To get rice and the rice are coming like wow and we can plant the rice as well we have the land you know we have the land it's not like we do have the land warm to the private sector man them them not understand about how it go them know still you know but right now them prefer buy the foreign things them they prefer buy the foreign things them because them no one produce it on so because the way the government said the thing, it is more expensive to produce the thing here and sell it. More expensive than to just import it. They have to go through the whole problem. You just import a tons, tons of rice. And now I see them, <laughs> but I tell you, you know, I see them import, I see a company like Jamaica package quinoa. Quinoa is a, is a seed. Well, it come like, I don't know, couscous. It come like couscous. It's small like couscous. But it come from them South American countries, which is very a very popular thing amongst health. People who's into health you now because it's not starchy. As a matter of fact, quinoa is an alkaline food. We are telling you that. For those of you who hear about quinoa, don't know if you know if you eat it or not. Quinoa is an alkaline food. It don't have no starch in it. If you put it for soak, it don't get sticky. You understand? Now we say, because quinoa is on the rise amongst health people, we say a local company start to package it. You think them easy. Because it's easier. We just take the thing from foreign and come package it right so. And the government have too much stipulation for this food thing. That's when a man produces it so. He must send it at an exuberant price. That the, the little man down the road can't afford it. So guess what? Him just going to have anything. Because that's what they have with do. The little white rice will come in bulk and you so. When them belly full, them eat it and then still hungry. Because man feels say the more food you eat is the better for you. It's not the amount of food where you eat, you know. It's the nutritional value of the food where you eat. It's not the amount of food where you eat. 
is the nutritional value of the food what you're eating. You understand? So a man can't eat all one fruit, you know. A man can't eat all two mango, you know, and get more out of it than drink a bottle of rated water, you know. You're full up in belly. And we don't want to reach where eat there. Reach. Because we go and eat until them have mud pie. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean, I, 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 I talk about no television, nothing. You know, I don't mean, talk about what people tell me when I'm reading a book. I say, I go and eat it. And see mud pie in the market, a jack mill. When I walk up and down in a jack mill, I will go to the market and say mud pie. What is mud pie? Mud pie is where the Asian them use mud, like, like, like clay, and make, and roll it, and sell it in the market. And what them do? Them eat it and drink water and them belly full. I don't lie, I tell you now. I tell you that. Them eat it and drink water and the belly full. It's mud make it. Clean mud. We know we reach so. But the way other thing I go now. When the dryness come from the land. When no rain or fall for months. And we have drought from the land. And the food spoiling at the field because we never preserve and prevent the food them from spoil. We're going to see what is going to happen. So, once again, stepping razor, I suggest, because sometimes them say, I already do is leak down, but we are trying to suggest some things. Can I have to watch man see the danger and do one. The blood of the people will be on his shoulder. So we have become a one a man. One a man. We are one all these people who is there now to facilitate to facilitate certain things for help the people them who is producing things. To really recognize what we are saying. And it's not so like a joke talk. And it's not something where I say, you can't go say, yeah man, it must attack wind. No. We see it. We see it. We see that there's no full trust by agro industry or if we make some, what them call it, cold storage, cold storage houses, house, cold storage house we are talking about. You build some house and it's, it's like a freezer box, but it's a large freezer box. And you put the food them in there. I, a matter of fact, people like, it's like how you have places you used to have it in Jamaica. I don't know if you have anything in Jamaica like that again, but they used to have some place where you can rent it. It's like they put a whole heap of the, 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 the container them together. And some like a 20-foot container. And you are 40 foot container. You can rent them and store things in a them. And you have the key and your lock and everything. And you have security in a that place. And then put it, you put your things them in there. If you have old furniture, or if you have some things where you don't want to throw away, you rent the space and put it in there. Or if you have some things where you have sell, but your store can't hold enough of that thing, you just rent that space and put it in there, and then you use it as your, your place where you distribute from to your store. They must do that for the farming industry as it relates to storage, cold storage. You must have cold storage in Jamaica like those things we are talking about. Where a man can rent it, whether it's a big company or a group of farmers in a St. Elizabeth or anywhere them there, can put these perishable goods inside it and make it stay there. Make it stay there. You understand? All these things is what we are talking about. Can't say we just a lick down. We are bring up to, and me say again, rice. Who's going to take up that challenge in Jamaica? Who is the people them in Jamaica? And as I say, maybe them do everyone want to talk. Because maybe them have it in mind. I mean, I say, you know, say the boy, the muta, him have sense. A little private sector man go that say, him have sense, you know. And him go check it out, you know. And when him go check it out, him realize, but the government are going too bad, man. That not go feasible. That not go make me no make no money. That not go make me make no money if me start to do that in Jamaica. Because the amount of this and the amount of that where you have to go spend. And if you have to build up all the rice mill and all them something there, where you have to go spend on all these things. It's going to create magic. But guess what? We have a flour mill for 
years we have the flour mill. And the flour mill now lose no money. Because Jamaican people love dumpling. Jamaican people love dumpling and we not plant wheat. We not plant wheat and we love dumpling. Well, we can't plant rice. We can't plant rice. Because most Jamaicans we mean no eat rice. But we don't want you to plant any kind of rice. We want you to plant good rice. You understand? And don't polish the rice. Because you're not planting for export. You're planting to keep inside us all. Until you can produce enough and what you cannot give the people them in Jamaica. You then you export it. I don't know if we export water. We should be exporting water, enough water. The amount of bottle water we see in Jamaica right now, yet still. The amount of bottle water we in Jamaica, yet still. When you're going to the supermarket, the Trinidad water outshine the Jamaican water. I'm jealous. I'm going to the supermarket, I'm well jealous. When I'm going there, I say, made in Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad. I'll feed you water there, Jamaica. <laughs> Not of the uptown and everything. You know. Yeah, Fiji. Them say the best water. Fiji water. And tell me the pan tour. For the people them know how we get no we are feeling now here. Them put Fiji water in our changing room. Yeah, that like a square buckle looking square, but nice buckle too. Very nice looking buckle. But them say Fiji water is a good water. You understand? But we don't forget Fiji water. <laughs> Unless it's just I like my word, but you don't have to get Fiji water. Yeah, good water in Jamaica. I don't want to call them names. I don't come like advertise me, advertise them. But I really want to call them names too because I know to them good. Because I do program, not pan, no look, look program on television to find out what's the best water in Jamaica. And I find out which one of them is the best water. But I don't say it on the radio. You don't know, say it. Because advertisement is something you pay for. <laughs> We're there with you. You know, the closing moments, yeah. We want to tell the people, them say, be careful, you know. Rough out there. What me say? Be careful. It's rough out there. Don't do no unnecessary things. Don't go to no places where you don't have to go there. I mean, I tell you that seriously. You understand? Don't walk going away unnecessarily. Chew your say, chew. Me want to walk down the road and, you know, chew me tired. If you sit down in my house. You understand? Terrible, you know? Terrible. And I will always still like, carry the killer going away house. What is the killer? It's in our kitchen. A lot of the food where I eat. A poison way. Poison way. Slow poison too. Somebody call poison, poison way quick still. Because you have some people who feel, say, boy, right now, no matter where you eat, you're right now, you know, because you're most dead anyway. Well, you want to know. It's not the most dead part we I work with, you know. It's the sick and the pain and the agony and the money where you don't have to go to the doctor to go get medicine. That we are talking about. So we know say everyone has a pathway. But in the life that you have now, you're not supposed to feel excessive or unnecessary pain because of what you're eating and what you're drinking and what you're thinking. Yeah, because the third thing too is also a problem as it commands to your health. You understand? When you start to think as that, that thing, why you don't have enough money for this, you don't have enough money for that, and this and that, and all them way there. You have to realize how important it is now to keep straight, straight up. Yes, straight up. Because we are living in a time where none of we ever lived before. None of we ever lived before. I mean, I'll tell you, you know, we don't want to sound pessimistic, but all when this gone, you know. When this can when this COVID thing pass over, you're going to have something terrible and more wicked than this. Because this is how the earth has set you now. And a man has set it away there. Man, 
not taking care of the earth. So the earth now go take care of him. You understand? The earth will move according to its nature. According to its nature, the earth is moving. You yeah, look on the sea. Look on the sea. You ever watch the wave of them? I will say it last night, we lay down the other night. We lay down the other night and just I take in all the wave of them I come to the, the rock them and I splash upon the rock them. And the bigger the, the wave is the more the water splash up. And may I say that there's something there I go on consistently for hundreds of years where the water does come, splash and go out back. Come, splash and go out back. It has nothing to do but guess what? It's life. It helps to generate life. It's a life farm. Water is life. You understand? And who know that better than the things that were inside of the water? The fish, them, and they are different creatures who are living in the water. Water is life. But the sea does nothing every day. It does the same thing. And when I say it don't do nothing, I mean it don't get up out and go out somewhere else. You understand? It stay there and it just splash and go back, splash and go back. Yes, it generate energy, it generate life forms, and it also help us to live as human beings. So we are say we have to find that purpose in all of life forms. The purpose, and we must protect it because it's not, it's not going to feel it, you know. Because no way, look here where you throw in at the sea. It's, it's creatures that are going to feel it. It's not the sea itself that are going to feel it. Look here where you talk about, you're going to pollute the air. It's not the earth that are going to feel the pollution. It's human beings who live on the earth that are going to feel the pollution. So we have to know where we are doing. Step, step, step in razor. The art.